Roadmaps for Energy Eight European cities are working together in the Roadmaps for Energy project to develop new energy strategies. The Energy Roadmap. Together with their local stakeholders, they want to start a process to develop city-specific roadmaps for the desired scenarios. They're following a four-step process. To set the ambitions of the partner cities, to develop the desired future scenarios, to create roadmaps using existing and future technologies as well as other developments to enable the desired future scenarios and to build a project portfolio with both individual and joint projects to reach the desired future scenarios of the cities. Since energy is too broad to cover in a single project, R4E focuses on three main domains – smart buildings, smart mobility and smart urban spaces. Smart Buildings focuses on sustainable energy solutions for the built environment, including residential, office, public and commercial buildings. Smart Mobility focuses on sustainable energy solutions for public and private transport and logistics. And Smart Urban Spaces focuses on sustainable energy solutions for public spaces, where different functions and activities come together. These three focus areas cover the sustainable energy domain, linked to the main responsibilities of the municipalities. Each city has selected two of the focus areas. Smart Buildings Roadmap These cities have created their own desired future scenarios for smart buildings, from which they have identified seven shared needs. Energy generating buildings with continuous improvement of energy efficiency, smart energy technologies and life cycle concept. Smart renovation of historical buildings with intelligent management securing their cultural heritage. Flexible buildings that adapt to changing needs and future technologies over their life cycles. Connection of buildings to an intelligent master system for communication, management and interaction. Buildings are part of a city district system to optimize energy saving and resource sharing. Building use and management systems are smart, flexible and offer open access. Buildings support and incentivize citizens towards more sustainable behavior and lifestyles. To achieve the future scenarios, a roadmap has been created together with experts. This shows possible technology developments and the corresponding timelines. Urban Building Planning Strategies for whole city areas are developed based on holistic mapping and refurbishment of existing assets, together with re-wealthing. In the longer term, nature-based strategies like closed material and component cycles will be adopted. Energy Saving Building Solutions Buildings become increasingly efficient using local building components, integrating nature and with increasing use of wood in modular building blocks. In the longer term, buildings will automatically adapt to their occupants, uses and climates. Materials and Circular Systems In the medium term, material, water and waste cycles are closed locally while in the longer term, buildings will be adaptive and self-regulating, contributing to an urban metabolism based on closed resource cycles. Sustainable Energy Transition Current energy systems are increasingly smart and integrated. In the medium term, energy systems become more solar-based, building integrated and renewable. Bidirectional grids together with affordable storage solutions, make energy systems truly sustainable. In the longer term, renewable energy will be abundantly available. Energy sharing Buildings play an increasingly active role in the overall energy system. Supply and demand are better balanced, increasing grid stability. In the longer term, bidirectional, self-healing grids will emerge optimizing district energy performance. ICT and building management systems. Today's smart meters will evolve towards smart networks, supported by building information and home management systems together with real-time data. 
In the longer term, the performance of open energy and data systems will improve through shared learning. The roadmap discussions highlight the necessary behavior changes. Knowledge generation and increasing awareness are key in creating behavior change. Increasing data availability, together with incentives and pilot projects, create more knowledge and social momentum for evidence-based decisions. In the longer term, lifestyle coaching and personal environmental accountability will help to drive individual behavior change, avoiding rebound effects. Last but not least, organizational changes are also needed. Innovative business models. New financing schemes and investment models are emerging. In the near future, these will increasingly be based on an inclusive, coherent monetary system. In the longer term, a sustainable energy transition will be supported by innovative approaches, like community managers, a personal energy budget, and new business models based on flexible pricing. Policies and legislation the role of municipalities in transformation processes becomes increasingly important. In the short and medium term, municipal policies will focus on quality of life as well as social and community value. In the longer term, public tendering will be future-proof. The transition to 100% renewable energy will be an overall political goal. Based on this roadmap, the cities and their stakeholders intend to develop their project portfolio to reach their desired future scenarios. For more information, please visit the website at roadmapsforenergy.eu. Smart Mobility Roadmap These cities have created their own desired future scenarios for smart mobility, from which they have identified eight shared needs. Sustainable mobility solutions using renewable energy, supporting all users in making optimal choices. Mobility systems supporting healthy lifestyles and encouraging citizens to spend time outdoors in green urban areas with clean air. Reducing the urge to travel by remote services, polycentric cities, local production and smaller scale ecological solutions. Seamlessly connected, easily accessible mobility systems, integrating new kinds of innovative vehicles and door-to-door -door services. Mobility a la carte, with a wide choice of alternative routes and modes of transport to suit different citizens' needs and lifestyles. All modes of transport are safe, accessible and affordable for all, with easy-to-use apps for reservation and payment. Travel advice that is personalized, accurate and real-time, accessible through multiple applications and allowing smart adjustments. Safe, secure traffic management of all kinds of traffic flows, supporting communication between drivers, vehicles and infrastructures. To achieve the future scenarios, a roadmap has been created together with experts. This shows possible technology developments and the corresponding timelines. Smart infrastructure. Infrastructure becomes more intelligent and is used more efficiently as connected energy systems and new engineering technologies become available. In the longer term, the amount of physical infrastructure will decrease. Smart mobility modes. Mobility modes will be optimized in different ways in the near future, leading to the availability of suitable, affordable and sustainable solutions. The ultimate goal is that all available mobility modes are zero emission. Connectivity and robotizing. In-vehicle automation is already available and will develop further with enhanced connectivity between vehicles and assets. Autonomous driving outside cities becomes possible thanks to reliable communication networks and cooperative driving technology. In the longer term, urban autonomous driving will become possible using full cooperative driving technology. Data and traffic management systems. Occasional interoperability and increasing traffic management are the first steps towards mobility as a service. 
Roaming services enable intermodal transport of passengers and goods. The next step is a self-organizing transport system, using different data sources to respond dynamically to supply and demand. Personalized services. Mobility services and sharing initiatives increase, and the separation between public and private transport becomes blurred. An open, connected platform supports demand-driven services for all distances, needs and lifestyles. Urban logistics. Small-scale logistics solutions and efficiency improvement by cargo hitching between logistics service providers lead to further optimized logistics flows. In the longer term, there is an open logistics system based on physical, digital and operational interconnectivity. The roadmap discussions highlight the necessary behavior changes. In the short term, incentives increase awareness and promote healthy behavior. People's reasons to travel change, reducing the wish to travel. Ultimately, communities will create value through local and personal initiatives with shared, exchangeable energy and mobility solutions. Last but not least, organizational changes are also needed. Cooperation and innovation networks. Dynamic innovation networks are created in the short term thanks to new forms of cooperation and an active role of public parties. This in turn enables an active response to new mobility systems and a shift towards new value systems. Ultimately, the economy is based on maximizing value for society at large. Policies and legislation. New mobility solutions and services are promoted and scaled up by short-term incentives and measures. A new framework for liability and proactive regulations drive the penetration of sustainable mobility modes, ranging over time from local and regional to national and global. Based on this roadmap, the cities and their stakeholders intend to develop their project portfolio to reach their desired future scenarios. For more information, please visit the website. Smart Urban Spaces Roadmap These cities have created their own desired future scenarios for smart urban spaces, from which they have identified seven shared needs. Urban environments are pleasant, multifunctional and safe for all citizens, preserving the cultural identity of the city. Public green spaces and infrastructure encourage healthy lifestyles and social interaction. Urban spaces, both public and private, contribute to climate resilience based on integrated planning. Interconnected urban and rural areas promote a strong local economy, with local circular flows of resources and a high quality of life in cities. Smart, resilient systems and grids facilitate secure, real-time information, enhancing urban life and increasing the quality of services. New business models and services are based on access to data with new forms of collaboration and financing. Citizens are encouraged to drive processes through new participation approaches to governance based on ICT and a new culture of engagement. To achieve the future scenarios, a roadmap has been created together with experts. This shows possible technology developments and the corresponding timelines. Urban planning strategies shift towards a human-centric approach. The integrated mapping of existing assets and the use of pilots establish a master transition plan for cities based on participation mechanisms. In the longer term, planning strategies will focus on resilience, repurposing of public spaces and infrastructure and creating smart urban landscapes. Sustainable energy transition. Decentralized renewable energy production increases and together with demand reduction contributes to district energy optimization in the medium term. District energy networks evolve towards integrated and bi-directional smart grids, including energy storage solutions at all scales. Local energy management is increasingly proactive. 
climate resilience and biodiversity. Responding to the desired reconnection of people and nature, cities reduce water and heat stress by smart water management and an improved urban microclimate. Healthy urban living is reached through an integrated approach to urban ecosystem services and by reconnecting urban and rural areas. This leads to overall ecological regeneration. Circular systems Resource management in cities is increasingly optimized, in contrast to today's linear resource consumption. Nature-based solutions are used for water treatment, together with a zero-waste approach. This evolves, in the longer term, towards integrated closed resource cycles for food, energy, materials and water. These are increasingly compact and are part of the overall ecological regeneration of the cities. Data, Connectivity and Management Systems In the medium term, environmental impact measurement and mapping of potential feed reactive systems through open data and urban sensors. Information management platforms evolve into interoperable, open, predictive and finally self-organizing systems. The roadmap discussions highlight the necessary behavior changes. Values, motives and behavioral change. Pilot projects and evidence-based knowledge promote participation in the cities, starting from the need to discuss what quality of life really means. A cross-disciplinary approach to education and new social value of public space help to develop a smart society with a deep understanding of sustainability. Participation and communities. Community platforms encourage citizen initiatives in the short and medium term highlighting human talent and exploring new participation models. Communities become more self-organizing, self-sufficient and resilient as they evolve towards smart communities with a strong self-commitment and sense of responsibility. Last but not least, organizational changes are also needed. Innovative business models. Based on existing instruments, Municipalities embrace innovation and new financing schemes. Climate resilient investments are driven by cooperative approaches. New currencies even emerge relating to sustainability and health. In the longer term, circular economy business models and new platform services are part of the emerging sharing economy. Policies and legislation. In the short and medium term, Policies are increasingly goal-driven and inclusive, supporting sustainable development of the cities. In the longer term, legislation is integrated, aligned and stimulating at all levels. It covers important fields like data and privacy protection, public procurement and transformation of public space. Based on this roadmap, the cities and their stakeholders intend to develop their project portfolio to reach their desired future scenarios. For more information, please visit the website at roadmapsforenergy.eu.